So when you will come to me, I will put you to accountability. What will be your answer? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Anta qulu yawm al-qiyamah, inna kunna an haza ghafilin. So you may not say, and there may not be any room for you are saying that we didn't know that you are our Lord and we are your slaves. You have countersigned the agreement with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as you know, for countersigned agreement, you are responsible in the court of law, not you would be questioned accordingly that this is your signature. So we said it, that is recorded, that is inscribed with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and taqulu yawm al-qiyamah, inna kunna an haza ghafilin, we were not aware of. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, furthermore, mercy and kindness of Allah is that we are forgetful people. We forget things a lot and we try to forget. So we have forgotten that covenant as well. Allah sent 100. 24,000 messengers and prophets reminding us only that promise to us. Misaqi Azali, Imam Sayyid in Khasayis Kubra, he narrated a hadith. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that all the messengers and prophets of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, reminded us that you have gone your word to Allah. So, bro, think of that word. How you will answer Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you have violated the rule? My dear respected brothers in Islam, as you know, we are praying Alhamdulillah and we start with Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Why we recite Alhamdulillah? That is another thing that a recitation of Alhamdulillah in your prayer. That is for us according to Jumhur and Wajib according to Imam Abu Hanifa. Rahimahumullah. But it means that that is must and the very first ayah says Rabbil Alameen. So when you pronounce and utter that word, it reminds you because that is printed there in your brain. So it clicks the air that you admitted that he is your Rabb. Then we are going to Ruku. Allahu Akbar. So we say Subhana. Say it. No loud. Rabbi. Once again, Rabb. Why we repeat it? Yes, to remind our brain that you have given the word. We are coming back from our Ruku. The Imam says, Sanayallahu liman hamida. What we say? Rabbana. Rabbana walakala. Once again, Rabb. Then we are going to Sajda. So what we say, Subhana? Rabbi. Rabbi al-Ala. And in the end of prayer, once again, we repeat the same word and title and quality of Allah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Rabbi ghafirni wali walidayya. And now, when you will go there. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we have Tirmizi and other muhaddisin. Narrated a hadith through various narration chain. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Atahu malakan iza uqbir al-mayyad. Our brother, we buried him. We made the cover. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, When anyone who is buried there in his cover, and the people, they depart. Innahu la yusma'u qarughuni alihim. Now they have not gone that far. Even the voice of their walking is heard there close to cover. They are not too far. Atahu malakani, aswadani, azrakani. At the same time, two angels, otherwise you know that angels are born of nur. They are born of light. But atahu for test, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent two angels. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says aswadan. Their complexion is black. Azrakan and their eyes are blue. This is a very terrible com complexion and combination. When? The color is dark and the eyes are blue. So the, the examiner must be such a guy who has a heba on the person concerned. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, So they make the person concerned, bring him back to his sitting condition. So he, uh, they ask them, or him, three questions. Mar Rabbuka, who was your Rabb? The same Rabb. Keep in mind, Mar Rabbuka. They don't ask, Man ilahuka. Maybe you will have a reservation. I don't know ilah because... I have given my word as Rabb, not as Ilah. So that's why the angels, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, they ask you the question, Marabbuka, who was your Rabb? And as I mentioned, that when you admitted that somebody is your Rabb, or some entity is your Rabb, and you are the slave, so slave does not have a free will, nor he owns anything, he does not own himself. All his actions and motions are subjected to the approval of his master. If he is not asking the, the permission of his master, he would be punished accordingly. So my dear respected brothers in Islam, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, the first question, Mar Rabbuka, who is your Lord? If he lived according to the rules of Allah, but unfortunately, Ya Subhanallah, we come here for a while, we think of death. Now we will live after five minutes, we will forget about everything. Yes or not? We will forget about everything. We will get involved in our worldly business. Oh, the brother died and still Hanus Dili Duras. 
for us there are a lot of time allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says nobody knows when he is going to die in one minute in five minutes in ten minutes so that's why allah says ya ladina amanu taqulla oh those who said la ilaha illallah what a beautiful address of allah ya ladina amanu oh the mu'minin just think about your status that allah is calling you oh the mu'minin oh the believers ittaqulla fulfill your obligation what is taqwa fulfillment of your obligation perform your duty ittaqulla fear allah haqqa tuqatihi as he is deserving to be afraid of so now you will measure the power and the authority of a department of an institution so you will be having a fear to the extent of its power like fbi cia police sheriff irs ins and so and so on my dear respected brothers in islam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says haqqa tuqatihi can we measure the greatness of allah no say no to what extent allah is great he is allahu akbar so when he is that great so you are free of fear from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala must not have any limit that fear must be limitless that what allah says haqqa tuqatihi wala and that what sayyidina umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu says if on the day of judgment allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will say that only one guy will to go to jannah so he says i have that much fear of allah that that i have that much hope in the mercy of allah that maybe that is me but if allah says otherwise that only one person will go to jahannam he has i have that much fear of allah that i fear that maybe that is me so allah says ittaqullah haqqa tuqati wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun die not but in form and condition of islam now you know the time of your death no anybody who knows no. say no. no 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 nobody knows so now it means 24 7 you have to be in form and condition of islam and what is condition of islam we are doing our marriages that is violation of the rules of allah we are burying our dead violation of the rules of allah we are not asking a alim that what is the proper sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam regarding marriage and regarding happy occasion and regarding sad occasion and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when the people of madina gave his pledge to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so one point an article of the pledge was that your happy occasion and sad occasion must be in accordance with my sunnah so you will follow the sunnah if you know that nobody is coming to alim to have some time we are sitting here in masjid for free we are providing people the, the food and the drinks and the food and the fruit and everything and we say come on learn this deen of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you are going to die so allah says wala tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun and my dear respected brother i don't want to prolong this, the, the 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 bayan because uh, the brothers will be coming there for fatiha as well but rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam whenever he buried a person the sahaba rizwanullah alayhi majma'in so qama ala qabri he used to come and stand close to his cover now one brother because of his uh, mean his uh, rahma and his mercy he said qadi said under the tree i said rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam was standing with the grave he was standing with the grave so i said no i will stand with the grave qama ala qabri he used to stand close to the grave of the person concerned because we are here as a delegation to allah that allah we request forgive him we request forgive his sins we request to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept his hasanat so you have to be close to him so we are standing close rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to stand close and he was saying a few things istaghfiru li akhi get ask maghfirah for your brother wa salu lahu at-tasbih and also ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give him stability in the examination and test which will be taking place now after a while so salu lahu at-tasbih fa innahu al-ana yus'al now after some time he would be questioned by allah so by the angels of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says the first question mar rabbuka who is your lord and the second question wa ma deenuka what was your deen and what is deen deen is not a few rituals oh we fasted in the month of ramadan are we are praying five times a day are we are going for hajj are we are paying zakat from head to toe you have to be muslim you must be muslim at home you must be muslim at masjid you must be a muslim in bazaar you must be muslim here in maqbara you must be a muslim here for example you are driving violation of the rules of traffic that is against islam 
Why? Because you are a law-abiding citizen. You have written a document. You have given your word. If you are not doing that, not only the sheriff will give you a ticket, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask you as well why you have signed that paper. So please keep in mind that Muslim means to be an abiding by the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So wa ma dinuka. And number three, wa ma taqulu fi hadha rajul Allah zi wa isa fikum. And what, what is your belief regarding that man who was sent to you? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now if the person, he lived by the rules and laws of Allah and sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah will give him tawfiq. So he will say, Rabbi allazi la ilaha illahu khalaqa samawati wal ard. My Lord is that Allah, where there is no deity to be worshipped, but only Allah, and he is the one who created the whole world. And regarding deen, he will say, deeni al-Islam. And Allah says regarding Islam, utkhulu fi silmi kaafa. As a whole, you have to be Muslim. If you are a farmer, in your farming you must be a Muslim. If you are a businessman, in your business you must be a Muslim. If you are a driver, in driving you must be a Muslim. If you are a labor, in laborship you must be a Muslim. If you are a ruler, you must be a Muslim. That's what your duty and your responsibility in the light of Quran and Sunnah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Utkhulu fi silmi kaafa. So if he lived by the rules of Allah, he, Allah will give him tawfiq, he will say deen al-Islam. And the third question, وَمَا تَقُولُ فِي هَذَا الرَّجُلُ الَّذِي بُعِسَتِكُمْ What is your belief regarding that man who was sent to you? So if he lived by the sunnah of Rasulullah we don't know the sunnah. We are killing the sunnah of Rasulullah constantly day and night 24-7. We are doing dead zabha. And we are not ashamed of what we are doing. So please, when you are going for any janazah, don't do that janazah as a custom. Just do it as a deen of Allah and deen of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. At least from janazah. وَإِذَا حَمَلْتَ إِلَى الْقُبُورِ جَنَازَةً فَعَلَمْ بِأَنَّكَ بَعَدْهَا مَحْبُولُهُ Arabic poet said, when you are taking the dead body of someone to Dumakbara, so think of yourself that soon or later, I would be taken like this. Today, that is his turn, tomorrow will be my turn. Day after tomorrow will be another person's turn. And that's why Imam Abu Hanifa Ramatullah says that when the janazah is taken, so the people should follow the janazah. Imam Shafi Ramatullah says, so that's why they have to go in front of the person who they are sending to Allah. But Imam Abu Hanifa Ramatullah says, think of the good of those who are still living in this world. So they should follow the janazah and they should focus on the janazah and dictate their mind that day tomorrow or day after tomorrow I will be in place of this guy. I will be on the same stretcher. So it will reform him. It will correct him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala correct Allah. Amen. So our brother, he passed away. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him makhfirah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make his grave a rosa from Riyazul Jannah. So one time, alhamdulillah, three times, pull hu Allah wa had to send the sawab of that to our beloved brother. قل هو الله أحد لله الصمد لم يلد لم يلد من كله كفونا حد قل هو الله أحد لله الصمد لم يلد لم يلد من كله كفونا حد قل هو الله أحد لله الصمد لم يلد لم يلد من كله كفونا حد اللهم ربنا أفرغه ورحمه ولا تعذبه وجرجنه مصواه ومصوانه ومصواجبين ومنين اللهم ربنا أفرغه بوحة جنانك وأنزل عليه شعبي برحمتك ومغفرتك ورزوانك اللهم ربنا بعد بينه وبين خطاياه كما بعدت بين المسيح والمغرب اللهم ربنا نقه من الذنوب ما ينقى الصوب الأبيض من الدنس اللهم ربنا جل قبر ورث من رياض الجنة ربنا جل قبر ورث من رياض الجنة ربنا جل قبر ورث من رياض الجنة من الله سبحانه وتعالى بيك إزجاء وجارنا في الجنة إن من الله سبحانه وتعالى جو صبر إن أجر تودا بيروش من الله جو دم صبر إن أجر من الله سبحانه وتعالى جو آلا في إن أجر رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم says if you will attend the جنازة of a Muslim for the sake of Allah and after جنازة you left so يرجعوا وله قيرات you are going having one qirat reward, but if you will join the burial as well, so Rasulullah says, Yerja Allahu qiratan, he is taking two qirat. So now Sahaba asked the Prophet that what is qirat, Ya Rasulullah? Prophet he indicated to the mountain of Uhud in Medina that this is the Jabal Uhud. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you that reward.